Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I thought I'd share you guys on how to make the super cute Tsum Tsum Elsa out of rainbow loom bands. And it's an original design created by me and I give credit to all things Disney for this great technique. Anyways, this is how it looks like. And I have Olaf and Winnie the Pooh. And you can go check Olaf out on all things Disney's channel. And you can see how to close we need the poo off on all things Disney's channel. And see, I this is also an original design by me. We need the poo is. And so like I said, check out all things Disney's channel. And hopefully go check out the Olaf video. And I'll show you if you fast forward to somewhat close to the ending. I'll probably show you guys how to close it off. Basically, the closing part off is basically very similar to close the Olaf charm. Of course. Anyways, um, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make Elsa. And um, I'll be showing you probably guys part two video. Showing you guys how to close this charm off. Because it's very different and complicated compared to the others. Because this has one color when you close it off. And this has the same color. So see yellow and yellow in the back. But when you look at the Elsa charm, it has skin tone bands. And dark blue so it's kind of different when you close it off so I invented it away and using filling spiffy's technique of the color changing so I'll be sharing with you guys how to close that off so anyways stay tuned for part two anyways let's, without further ado let's get on with the materials to make my adorable Elsa Tsum Tsum you will be needing one rainbow loom and a crochet hook you will need one turquoise band and one clear band to make the flower on top of her head, as you can currently see. You will need light blue bands for the clothes and her feet, also her eyes. You will need white bands for her hair. You will also need dark blue bands. And by the way, if anybody wants to do a collab with me and create Elsa's cape, you sure can. Just let me know in the comments down below, and hopefully you guys can figure out with me on how to do Elsa's cape. Anyways, so without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Well, actually, instead of starting the tutorial right now, I forgot one thing to mention. You will also need, which is the main thing to make Elsa, you will need skin tone bands. Okay, I think now we can get started. So I'm just taking a single white band and place it on my loom like this, a single band. Now I'm taking two bands, and they're doubled bands, and I'm just taking it and place it on this pin. So as you can currently see. And then I'm taking two more white bands and place it on my pin like this. And we're making the head, by the way. So basically the face. Now I'm taking two white bands, place it on this pin. And I'm taking two more white bands and place it on this pin. And you can try to untwist your bands and push all your bands down. So now I'm taking two skin tone bands. Place it on my loom. Two more skin tone bands. Place it on your loom. Two more skin tone bands. Place it onto your loom. And lastly, two more bands and place it on your loom. So now this is the face structure. Now let's begin and start creating the eyes. To create the eyes, I'm just taking a single light blue band and wrap it around your hook three times, which creates four loops. And then you're repeating the same step over again. And then after that, it should look like this. So I'm gonna try to unravel everything to make sure everything's nice and neat. And I'm taking a single skin tone band and I'm sliding this blue band onto the skin tone band. Trying my best I get everything on so now it looks like this. Now I'm just gonna place it on my loom so I'll show you how it looks like in a bit. So I'm just attaching it. And it should look like this how we did it with the weenie the pit. So I'm just trying to fix everything Make sure it's in its shape. So anyways, this is how your Elsa face should look like. And now let's get started on making the flower. To get started on making the flower, I'm taking a single clear band and twisting it 
once on my hook. So you see a figure eight. I'm taking a turquoise band now and just slide it through both those loops. And I'm reclaiming one end of the tur I mean one end of the clear band. So as you can see, I'm taking this clear band, attach that on my hook. And now I'm just going to slide this clear band into the turquoise band. So as you can see, and then I'm going to reclaim this clear band and this turquoise band. And now I'm taking this turquoise band, fold it over the clear band so it looks like this. And now I'm just taking the clear band, removing it off my hook, and then place the clear band back on. And you should look like this your tiny flower and now you can basically attach it onto your loom so i'm just taking my loom and now i'm just gonna remove this white band and just slide this onto my two bands so i'm gonna try to attach my best on it so as you can see and then i'm just placing it on my loom back onto my loom and now i'm just fixing the flower and then place that on. Now let's get started on making the flower, I mean the hair piece. By the way, there'll hopefully probably be three parts to this video because Elsa is a bit more work. And I'm now I'm just taking a single band, twist it once on my hook, take two bands and slide it through my white bands and reclaim. So it should look something like this. And take a single white band slide it through those four loops and reclaim the outer two bands and then reclaim that band and now i'm taking another band slide it through the four loops and reclaim the outer two white bands and then reclaim this band so this is how her hair piece should look like you can make it a little bit longer if you'd like but i think i'll do one more Actually, I'll probably do one or two more, so it's either way you want it. So I think I think this would look good, because I don't want it too, too long, because then it's going to look kind of funny. So anyways, this is how you make your hair piece. And now you're going to turn to your loom and place it right here on this pin. So I'm stretching everything and just place it on my pin. And by the way, don't add a single band through it, because it looks kind of funny when... I've done it before, but it just looks different and funny. So anyways, this is how your hair piece should look like. And I'll show you guys how to fix your flower when you loom it up on your loom. Let's create the feet now. So I'm taking, I mean, basically the hands. I'm taking a single skin tone band, wrap it around your hook two times, which creates three loops. And I'm taking two skin tone bands and just slide it through this cap band. And then reclaim the other end so you've made her hands. Now you're placing Elsa's hands on the bottom part, which looks like this. And you're going to go ahead and repeat the same step as we've done before. So I'm taking two skin tone bands. Place it on your loom. Slide through and reclaim. And now you can place it onto your loom. So that it looks like this. Now you've made Elsa's head, so take a single band. And wrap it around your loom two times, which creates three loops. Now you've made the head. And you place the capping band. Now let's create the body. So I'm taking a single light blue band and I'm placing it on my loom. Take two skin tone bands. I mean, two light blue bands and place it on your loom. Take two more light blue bands and place it from this pin to that pin. Two more skin tone bands and place it straight across your loom. Two more light blue bands and place it on this pin into the center. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat. As we did with Weenie the Pooh. So now I'm taking two more bands. And two more. And now I'm taking a triangle band and just place it on this pin. And then you can go ahead and make a cat band of three. So wrap it around your loom two times, which creates three loops. 
So now you've done the body, go ahead and repeat the same step as we did here. After repeating that step, you're returning to your loom here, and you're taking a dark blue band and place it here on this pin. Take two more dark blue bands, place it on that pin. Two more dark blue bands, place it from this pin to that pin. And just basically repeat the same step. So basically I went ahead and made it and then I placed the capping band but instead of adding the triangle band on you're taking a single light blue band wrap it around your hook two times which creates three loops take two bands slide it through everything so it creates Elsa's shoe Elsa's shoe sorry and then you're placing it on your loom and then you repeat for the same other side so you place it on this pin so now everything looks like this, and I'm taking a single dark blue band and just make a triangle band. And now stay tuned for part two, which will show you guys how to hook everything on your loom. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Stay tuned for part two for creating my Elsa charm. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye!